not into breaking the law. I don't do that, you know? Huh. I, I have four kids. I'm, I'm 50. I don't do that. Please get me out of this jail tonight. I'm sorry, Mr. Are you drinking today? Yes. How much were you drinking? Just a few beers. I mean, we went to the bar and paid for drinks. You smell of alcohol a lot. And I paid for it, too, man. I guess so. Can we get your belt? All right, you know? All right, let's walk that way. All right, sir. Straight ahead. Your husband? My boyfriend. All right, we're going to keep them separate. Yeah, they're both being charged with misdemeanor battery. That's nice. Injured in any way? Huh? No injuries? No. Just try and ignore them. Have a seat over there on that stool. We all know you both love each other. So when you go on the other side, no yelling, no talking, all right? So what happened today? You were at the bar. And we left. But we paid for our drinks. And then they jumped Mike, and then I went to, like, save him. I mean, I, I wasn't going to let anyone, like, kick his ass for nothing. Because we paid for our drinks. We did. And then there's a fight at the bar. Five guys jumped on him. We were paying for it all along. How are you? Stay away from the bars. Drink at home. Go over there where it says, inmate shower. So does your girlfriend usually come in to save you when you get yourself in situations like that? I didn't get myself in situation. I got jumped for no reason. What happened was they were at Madison's, and he uh, he tried to take a ball of Stoli, and they caught him because he, like, stuck it between his legs. They took the bottle, so then he swung on the bartender and punched the bartender in the side of the head, and then she came from behind and then punched the bartender in the back of the head. I didn't take that bottle of liquor. Yeah. I paid for my tap the whole night. So when you sat down, at your table, there's a ball of Stoli just sitting right under the table. You you know you I pay for one? my tabs. I know you pay for your tab. I'm not saying you didn't pay your tab. I'm saying you try, I'm, you're not getting charged with trying to take a ball of Stoli. You're getting charged with uh, punching a bartender. I was on the ground. How did I punch a bartender? You know, I, I, I have a hard time believing you because initially you said you didn't do anything and it, nothing happened. I and then we found out that all this happened. I got tapped right, sir. and thrown to the ground. Because you punched a bartender. Let's go ahead and put you on two computer intake right here. I right, you have a couple questions to ask you. We paid for our drink. They didn't steal vodka and... No, oh, they jumped did. Mike and I had to, like, protect him. Do you think he wanted your protection? Because, you know, manly things. I would do that for anybody. I'll do that for you. I'll do that oh, for anybody. Oh, thanks. You're not... No one's gonna hurt someone that I'm with. Straight back over there, have a seat on the middle stool. They jumped him. They were kicking his ass. He doesn't have a mark on him, so they were not kicking his ass too bad. Yeah, especially because I jumped on him. Because so it was all you. You saved the day. I always do. <laughs> well, the proof is the law, right? Because that's all it is. It's you not what you know. It's what you can prove, right? This is misdemeanor battery instead of felony battery, though. It's all right. It's all good. Come on, over here. I'll put her in holding. You can take him. All right. Go ahead and stand up, Mike. I'm disappointed in you, sir. That's her reaction, not mine, though. She your girlfriend? Yes, sir. So whose responsibility? She's not my responsibility. You know you've been here at least 10 times, right? At least 20. You should know the signs. 10. Come over here, face my computer. You know why I'm not happy, right? Yeah, I know. How am I ever going to get to clean pools if you guys keep coming back in here? Dude shouldn't have jumped me, man. Let's pretend that you're all innocent. Do you not know when somebody's being aggressive towards you? Yeah. Why didn't you walk away? I tried to walk away. You tried to walk away, both times. Dude tackled me. Tackled you. So if you saw something like that coming, you should have called us. That's what we get paid for. And instead, you're right back in here. You can go ahead, and you're going to have a seat over there, third, fourth row. All right, behave yourself while you're here, Michael. All right? Don't, don't be a problem here. Obviously, Michael's been here before. Him and his girlfriend ended up coming into jail tonight, but she's been cooperative. I'd like to see if we can't pull her out, get her out here. All right. Thank you, Hold it. Michael, go sit down. <laughs> sit. What's going on, sir? We are going to bring you out here so you can use the phone and everything like that, OK? I don't want to have to discuss how to be an adult with you, all right? No, that's fine. I understand, okay. sir. 
I understand. You've had a chance to think about what's going on, so I was wondering, would you do anything different? I'm not into breaking the law. I don't do that, you know? Huh. I, I have four kids. I'm, I'm 50. I don't do that. It seems like you guys got each other's back, so you guys might become a stronger couple for this. So I wish you the best well, of luck. We've been a couple for six and a half years. I mean, it's not like, you know. You put up with him for six and a half years? Yes. You're braver than I am, ma'am. Hey, Zombie, what do you mean All right. by that, Zombie? Go ahead and step out here. Have a seat on this front row, ma'am. All right, behave yourself. Michael and Gabriella came in for the charge of battery. So they are going to be spending the evening in here together, which to me doesn't sound like a very romantic evening for a couple to have. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids. I don't wanna be 